Today we are going to start our project Water Lily by Fallon Gems. Spooky. Don't worry, the project today is not going to be spooky. It's our Water Lily by Fallon Gems. Okay, here she is. Let's try to get that glare out of here. All right, we have these beautiful drills, and I'm going to work out of the bags the best that I can. They kitted them all up, so we're going to try and work out of them. Let's see. But I am going to first put my paper on. And I use regular parchment paper for most of the time. So we are going to start with the M's. So the M's are number 20, bag 20. That wasn't too hard to find. So I'm going to use my tray from Firefly. It is the Switch Mini Max. So I'm going to put a weight up here to keep that down and we are going to get started so this is a round and it's a 20 by 20 look at how pretty they line up move my finger. They are so pretty. So I'm using the pen they provided. I was going to use the tray that they provided, but it's a little small for all that color blocking. And I'm actually most likely going to use a larger multi-placer, but right now I've got the small one that was included. So we're going to get going. So I'm doing a review for this. Oh, and it's quiet. They gave me this canvas as a PR. I am now an affiliate. There'll be a code. So if you would like to try Fallon Gems, you can use that code. I think it's 20% off. I believe it might be 15. But go ahead and try them out. I'm super excited. Yeah, these, this three placers, it's actually going pretty quick. And my allergies, I apologize. Allergies are kicking my arse. Oh, look at that. 
picked up four. Picked up four with a three placer. Household noises. Yep. Household noises. All right. What do we got here? I am, well, I should say, my family, we are all in the process of planning a Disney vacation, guys. One of our family members works for Disney, and he is in the process of trying to get us all squared away. So we are super excited. I've been wanting to do this with my kids for quite a few years now. The last family vacation we took was a while ago. Yep. So now we are working on it. And I'm excited. I've got four grandkids. And two, son two sons, one daughter-in-law, four grandkids, and we are all going to go to Disney in January. yep -er. So we're probably going to be staying at, on, at a resort because he gets a pretty good rate. So I don't know which resort yet. It's still in the planning process. But, uh, yeah. So we're going to go to Disney and we want to be able to see some characters. So we're looking to book dinner I don't know if it's going to be at Cinderella's Castle or Mickey's Mansion or whatever it's called. There's another option. So he's looking into that. It's going to be fun because my grandkids are going to be three and five and I think six months and 11. I know. Um, the 11 year old goes to Disney a lot because his dad's the one that works for Disney. So he's actually, it is the time of this filming. It is Sunday. October 13th, and he's actually on the way to Disney right now. They're going to go to Epcot, see the fireworks. So, look how nice it's coming out.
Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Let's see if I can come down a little closer. How does that look? That looks better. Have you guys gone to Disney? If you have, what's your favorite park? I actually like Animal Kingdom. That's my favorite. My grandson's favorite is Epcot. He loves Epcot. But he's a he's gonna be a science nerd. So or is a science nerd, I should say. He's eleven and he loves space. So does my other grandson, my five year old five year old grandson. He loves everything space. So who knows? I might have uh two astronauts in my uh family. Don't know yet. I have to see. Look at that. Whoop, gotta get you flat. I do have a straightener, but I don't have it. Do I have it in this pile? No. It's in my other. Oh, I do have it here. So, let's, uh, Put the straightener on here. Look at that. This simple. I love it. Here we go again. Now we're going to do this section. Have any of you stayed in a Disney resort that have gone to Disney? If so, what resort have you stayed in? I have stayed in the 80s resort where it is 80s themed. Super nice. Yep, my son's gotten us into that resort. Um... He's stayed at the Little Mermaid Resort because sometimes they get resort tickets and they don't get to pick them out. You just, they have them available and they like the employees to stay at the resort so that you can give them feedback on um, what needs to be improved. So that's one of the benefits of being a Disney employee you actually get to stay on property, but they want honest reviews, feedback. So I don't think that's a bad deal.
color is kind of hard to see on camera. The one I chose, the blue, but yeah, staying on property is so easy. You don't have to, I got my car there and it stayed. I didn't turn it on till we left. You can get anywhere you need to go through their transportation and it's all included with your resort stay. But you're, you know, staying on Disney property, of course. But I, I did enjoy eating at the resorts. They have just like a hotel. You wake up in the morning and you go down, you go to the lobby and they have breakfast. Granted, it's not free, but you can get breakfast at the resort. And uh, I personally did not think the prices for breakfast were very high because by the time you get in the car and go somewhere with gas, I think, and drinks and all that, I actually think it's, you know, it's about the same. But let me tell you, their food at Disney is amazing. And if you have allergies, don't sweat it. You just tell them, hey, I have allergies. And the manager will actually fix your food. They don't mess around with allergies. So don't feel like um, you can't eat at the restaurants at Disney because you have allergies. Disney is amazing when it comes to special needs. You, but you do, you do have to tell them because they don't know. And don't, don't just assume something doesn't have something in it. Make sure you tell the manager that you have a food allergy. And that is your best bet. No one wants you to have an allergy episode, allergic reaction to something when you're on vacation. That, that's a bummer. When I battled food allergies, a lot of mine were misdiagnosed food allergies. But at the time, to me, they were legit food allergies because I sure as heck did not want to go to the ER because of an allergy. I didn't play around with it either. And then we found out that a lot of my allergies were misdiagnosed because the way they test for allergies is they do a, a skin test, but that's accurate but it's not 100% accurate because if you react to pecans on a skin test, they need to follow it through with a blood test because you could just be allergic to the dander that the tree puts off and not necessarily the pecan. So when you have food allergies, they can be confused, they can get confused or be misunderstood to be 
your tree allergies can be con confused to be actual food allergies and they're not and it's just the tree allergy. So in my case, I did get allergy shots for environmental because they don't really have food allergy shots. I think this was six years ago, I think. I think now though, fast forward, I think now they do have something for people with peanut allergies. I think you can get allergy shots, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. And I do know when I had my allergies retested, when we got down to eliminating the peanut allergy, the doctor checked on me like every four minutes because I did a challenge test where I ate a peanut about every 15 minutes and by the end of four hours I had eaten quite a bit of peanuts and he would check on me about every 15 minutes and he'd peek in and he'd say how we doing he'd check, check my blood pressure make sure I'm good and then at, that was the very last thing we eliminated was peanuts he said he was a little scared to do it because peanut allergies can be very, they can be deadly. So he wanted to make sure I was, I was okay. So he kept checking on me. And I am and was okay. And I was able to eat peanut butter again. I had a genuine tomato allergy, carrot allergy, and watermelon and melon allergy. But your body does change. They say it changes every seven years, but you don't know when that seven years ends and starts. A pregnancy can throw that clock off. So who knows? But I only have allergies now to like pollen, ragweed, that kind of stuff. And I'm thinking about getting allergy shots again so I don't have to sound like this all the time. Because I have pecan trees on my property and they put out a lot of pollen and stuff like that. And my nose can't handle it. So the noise you hear in the background, we just got back from Sam's and we bought a whole bunch of like onion, celery, carrots. And my husband is chopping it all up. And when I'm done with this, I'm going to put it all in baggies and see it and put them in the freezer. We have a sealer, um, it's suck a vacuum packer packs all the, sucks all the air out of it. And then when I want to use them, I just pull them out of the freezer. So that's going to be my job when I'm done. Okay. See what we got here. Yeah, I told him, I said, what can I do? He says, get to recording. 
You got to get that video done. I said, okay. So here I am recording this with you guys. We are changing up our schedule of posting videos. It used to be Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. But we're going to put up my long video on Wednesday. And Tuesday is going to be a shorter video. Friday is going to be a long video and a very um, high demand video, I guess we can call it. Because it's going to be the rest of my stash, part three, on this Friday. And then the following Friday will be part four of my stash. So I'm not sure if we're going to have a part five, but we might. And I think we, I think we are going to have a part five of my stash because I have, there'll still be more kits that I have not shown And we didn't want to make the videos super long. So I'm breaking it up into smaller videos. So, yeah. I hope you like my stash videos. I'm actually having fun with them. So, yeah. Make sure you watch my staff, stash videos and but I'm currently not buying anything new until Diamond R Club's Black Friday sale. I mean, why not? I have some points and I think I want to use them unless they have a really good sale then I'll save my points for when I need to make a sale for myself <laughs> all right and then after this I'm gonna get out my straightener So far, these diamonds or drills, whatever you call them, are very pretty, very smooth. So, So I'm making a roast tonight because I'm having company tonight. So, wow, this is really, okay, oh, you see it? That's kind of, that whole row is complete. All right, that's all I'm doing today or in this session.
stay tuned for when I continue.